the Produce Exploration Series, Ashley Craft. This episode, we're going to be looking at the beautiful Red Rome Apple. This is a nice looking apple. I've never had this kind of apple before. Red Rome Apples are an heirloom species of apple. They're supposed to be really good for baking. Um, a lot of people say that the flavor of them, when, before you bake them, is very mild and not tart, not particularly sweet. So they say the flavor really comes out when you bake it. So what I'm going to be showing you next is cutting up the apple, trying some of it raw, letting you know what I think of that. And then I'm going to bake the apple in the oven. And then I'll let you know what I think of that. Let's go. Red Rome Apple. It's got a nice kind of tartness to it. It's got a pretty mild flavor, kind of like, kind of like Golden Delicious, but probably not as sweet as that. It's a little tartar, kind of like a Granny Smith. So it's a good kind of medium flavored apple, but I've heard that their flavor doesn't really come out until you bake them. So let's go bake them. But before we bake them, time for a few facts about them. helps them keep their texture and helps them stay fresh longer and I've had these for a while so they're a little softer put in the fridge you're supposed to keep them having that firmer texture and being a little less mealy um, but I thought it was still a good texture it was it was a softer apple definitely softer than like a granny smith of the beautiful baked Rome apples, red Rome apples, like you saw in the previous clip. It's just counter to the oven. 
I sprinkled some cinnamon, some sugar, and I put some, I can't believe it's not butter, butter, but you can use any kind of butter you want if you're gonna bake an apple. And I put them in there at 350 degrees, probably, probably for about half an hour or so. Um, but you can cook them however long you'd like to. So time to try this baked red rum apple. I think it's got a real good flavor. Baking it with the cinnamon, the sugar, and the butter, I think it's a great combination because the butter adds a little bit of salt flavoring to it while the cinnamon brings out some of the other flavors and the sugar makes it a little sweeter. You still have a nice little undertone of tartness, so it's definitely not over tart, but adds a nice dimension to the flavor. And it has even a little bit of a floral type tone to it. So I think it's a very good apple. I would definitely get it again. And I think it would actually be really good in apple pie. Uh, I think that it would be good because it, that little bit of tartness would help the flavor stand out and it wouldn't get buried under the other things you put in the pie. I think it would be perfect for that. I mean, I'd eat one raw, but they do definitely have a lot more flavor when you cook them. So that really brings out the flavor to cook them. And they, they can even be good in a savory type dish um, because they do have that tartness, it's not entirely just sweet apple. So I think it's a very good apple, and that is the Red Rome apple.